In this tutorial, we're going to walk through the backups, uptime, and analytics modules inside of WPMU Dev. We're going to go through the setup for all of them, and they're going to be tied into the client reporting, which is going to be in the very next WPMU Dev tutorial. This is part three of the WPMU Dev series, and the goal by the end of this four-part series is that you're going to have a functioning client services business for WordPress if you follow along with what I show you in these videos. And the link to that four-part series is down below. It's a playlist right here on YouTube. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. Now let's get started. And before we get started, I want you to know there's a link in the description down below that has a 20% discount to any and all services and plans with WPMU Dev. If you click on that link, the URL is going to look something like this, and it's going to have coupon equals WP Learning Lab members, and all the prices down here are going to be reduced by 20%. The reason they're not right now is because this coupon doesn't go live until November 1st, and it's currently October 27th. And that 20% is off of your first payment. So if you go with a personal monthly plan, you'll get 20% off the first monthly payment. However, if you go for a yearly plan, for example, an agency yearly plan, you get 20% off of the entire year for agency. That one's of much greater value. So keep that in mind. It's 20% off the very first payments. We're going to check out the backups, uptime, and analytics tabs inside of WPMU Dev for each website that you manage there. So under backups, that's the tab we're on right now, we have a dashboard where we see our number of backups, our backup schedule, how much storage we've used. We currently have 50 gigabytes of space available. That's not just for this website, that's for the whole account. So if you're managing a lot of websites in here, you might have to increase that storage space by clicking on plus more storage. To bump that up from 50 to 100, it'll cost you an extra 10 bucks a month. If you want a terabyte, it'd be an extra 100 bucks a month, and that appears to be the limit. However, I'm sure you can reach out to their support if you start approaching that limit and ask them for other options for more storage. So if you are going to be offering daily backups or scheduled backups to your clients that you're managing on here, you might want to consider having this baked in because eventually you're going to have to bump up how much you're using for storage and you're going to have to pay for that. So make sure you bake that into your price. Just going to leave mine as it is and we are going to go to settings. We can activate a schedule, this first one. We can pass or protect our backups. We can change our storage locations. We can change our storage cycle and we can delete all backups. So to make a schedule, let's click on inactive here. We want to make a daily, weekly, or monthly. The one you choose, I always recommend, depends on how much content you produce. If you're writing new content and publishing every single day, then use daily backups. If you're publishing once a week, do weekly backups. If you're publishing once a month, do monthly backups. Whenever you're updating your site, you want to make sure they have you have a, whenever a site's being updated, which is usually on a fairly regular schedule, you want to make sure you have a backup for the newest version of the site. And I always choose the middle of the night, which is the lowest traffic time for my backups. So I'm going to choose weekly. I'm going to choose Monday, Tuesday, uh, let's do Wednesday. If you publish your posts on Tuesday, then do your backups on Wednesday. If you publish your posts on Monday, do your backups on Tuesday, shortly after the post would have gone live. Click on save and you have a schedule. Password protection is enabled. This means that to delete a backup, you have to enter your WPMU dev password first. This is enabled. You can turn it off by toggling that switch if you want. The storage location can be changed. The different data centers inside the plugin inf interface on the website, not through here. You can change your storage cycle from 30 backups to, that's the max, to just one backup. And so the backups on WPMU Dev are incremental. That means the first backup that's made is your entire site. Following that, only the changes are backed up, which helps you from using up too much storage because only bits and pieces are backed up for future backups. And it also makes it so backups take a lot less your server resources whenever they're done. So that's pretty handy. Then delete all backups, deletes them all. Pretty self-explanatory. Now on the dashboard, since we have a schedule, this is now updated to weekly, and we don't have any backups here. Let's create one right now, and we'll see what this looks like when we come back later. And backups are stored for 50 days. You can store a maximum of 30 manual backups and 30 scheduled backups. Once you reach your 30 scheduled, because you're going to want the schedule going beyond 30 days, or 30 backups, I presume, the oldest one will be removed automatically, so that the new one can be made. And the manual backups, you have to delete them manually so the new ones can be made. 
Let's go to uptime. We'll come back to this later. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. Uptime is a pretty simple app. It measures the uptime of your site. We've only had this on here for a few hours. We can see the site has been up the entire time. We see our response time right here. Not super fast, pretty slow at some points. I have a SiteGround account where I have more than one website hosted. And of course, it's a shared server as well. So there's multiple websites on the server that aren't even mine. And this used to be about 200 milliseconds when I first went there a few years ago. Now this shared server or my account specifically, because some of the sites get a lot of traffic, so they're really hammering my account, it's a slower response time. Some of the sites I have to move off of there for, to dedicated hosting because they're a little too much traffic. Under settings, we can receive downtime and uptime alerts via email. They can be sent instantly or they can be sent with a delay. I'm not sure why you want to do that. If your site's down, you probably want to know right away. At least if a client's site's down and they know about it immediately, they'd want you to know immediately so you can fix it immediately. So I don't see why you would choose anything other than instant. And you can configure the recipients right here. You can add as many as you want, I believe. There doesn't appear to be a limit. And that's uptime. It's not the most complicated to tap in WPME Dev by any means. Analytics is also pretty straightforward. It just shows analytics data of your website. We just recently added this website to WPMU Dev, so we don't have any stats here. But when there are stats, you'll see all traffic, search traffic, referral traffic, and direct traffic, as well as a bunch of metrics. These metrics can be defined under settings, metric type, go to configure. You can show page views, unique page views, visit time, entrances, bounce rate, and exit rate. And this also appears in the dashboard of the website. And so your clients can see this information if you want them to. And it saves them having to go to Google Analytics, which is way more complicated than this. Really, at the end of the day, your clients, if they're not that savvy, all they want to see is that they're getting page views and visits. That's really all they want. If you have conversion goals configured and, and you have paid marketing and conversion pixels firing and all that, and your clients are more savvy, they're going to want to go to Google Analytics or some other solution. But for just basic information, this is great. And statistics takes you back to this report right here, which currently doesn't show a lot, but it will once there's data here. And you can filter by visits and unique visits, and you can turn off the visitor types that I listed below earlier. At any time, you can also refresh the data if you want new data in this area. If you like what you saw with WPMU Dev, make sure you click the link in the description down below to come to this page, which is the WPMU Dev pricing page, and there's a coupon attached to it. This coupon is only available through that link. And you can see it's a coupon in the URL, coupon equals WP Learning Lab members. And this will give you a 20% discount on any plan, monthly or yearly. And the 20% off is specifically for the very first payment you make. So if you sign up for a personal plan on a monthly basis, your very first monthly payment will have 20% off. But if you sign up for a yearly plan for the agency, you get 20% off that entire year which would be a way more value than going for the personal monthly. But pick whichever one you think is best for you and make sure you lock in that 20% using the link down below in the description. And this goes live on November 1st. This recording right here is October 27th, so it's not quite live yet, but it'll be live by November 1st. So make sure you lock in that discount if you think WPME Dev could help you in your business. Next up, check out this tutorial right here. It is the fourth tutorial in the WPMU Dev series, helping you set up your WordPress client services business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.